Good morning. So I have been doing in my virtual parties uh, this or that with similar products that we have in our product line and thought, I don't know that I've updated. I know I have done one with my daughter a couple years ago, the egg cooker, the stoneware egg cooker. But since then, we've also come out with the ceramic egg cooker. So I thought it might be time to do a little comparison and, and whatnot. Majority of my customers are really 50-50. They either love one, have both, whatever. Um, and so there's just different slight variations between the two. So thought this would be a good opportunity for me to show you how they work and then maybe help you make an educated guess as to what would be best for you. So um, we'll start with the stoneware microwave egg cooker. Um, obviously the two sides, you can do two eggs. You can actually do up to four eggs, two and two. You might actually even be able to do three and three. Um, haven't ever tried that. And then you can also do like a pancake in one side and eggs in the other. I've seen mac and cheese done in here very quickly. I've seen cakes done in here. And I think I even have a recipe file for it. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. That'll give, inspire me to go hunting for that. I know I have a small recipe file for this. This one you can do um, oatmeal in. You can make a little individual cake. Um, there's a gluten-free cake mix that comes with it um, in the use and care or in the flyer. Obviously eggs and there's oh a muffin there's a really good lemon blueberry muffin that comes with it as well those are also all on our website uh in the recipe section you can find all those there it does have the little ceramic or the silicone band here as well as on the inside here this is completely removable you usually take something sharp and get it off um, and you can go in the dishwasher and get all the little nooks and crannies clean has the little air vent there, that little hole. You wanna make sure that you cover that when you're shaking those eggs up if you're doing a scrambled version. Both can do poached, both can do typically fried. I guess that would be adding some um, fat of your choice to it, either butter or oil or whatnot. And I will say, I think I tend to gravitate to this one, maybe just because it's a little bit more familiar to me and I've used it longer, but I'm gonna do both for you today. And not to say that I don't use this one, it just sort of just depends on, on uh, my mood. <laughs> so this one will have a much more fluffy egg to it, scrambled fluffy egg. Um, this one will be a little bit more flat. I say it works great if you're doing your slice of deli ham, um, and a slice of cheese or shredded cheese on there and then throw your English muffin and you're out the, out the door. So um, just sort of depends on, on what you want. So, all right, here we go. So crack your egg, no big deal there. Oh, I had a fork earlier, hang tight. Just use the little whisk, stainless steel whisk. Whisk that up. And then I like to add um, all my little goodies to it. So I try to add some spinach in there and then I pretend that I have a decent vegetable. That counts as one, right? With like two strips of spinach. <laughs> uh, and then, oops, same thing there. And then I also do the salt and pepper right on in there. Oh, and I think I've, I've shared these a couple times now, but just again, I just forgot to put pepper in that one. They have the little hole or the little um, circles. That is for depending on which way you turn this little um, disc, is depends on how fine or how coarse your salt and pepper is. Absolutely love the way that they restyled them. You literally just pour your salt or pepper right on in and you're good to go. Comes with the cute little stand, all as a set, voila. So I said I needed to do pepper in here. I've already grated up some cheese with our microplane coarse grater. Um, I actually just went live on a virtual party and um, showed them. So anyway, there's that. Shake, shake. And this is done, ready to go into the microwave. Oh no, I forgot to add the spinach. <laughs> oh yeah, that vegetable. So just use the shears and I just rinse it off. Doesn't matter if it's in a bag or not, it still freaks me out. So I always like to rinse it. So there again, what's that? Probably about two leaves. That's a full day's worth of vegetables, is it not? Okay, so, and because I'm only doing one egg, if I was doing one on each side, usually it's, I find it's about two minutes. With this one, I'll do about a minute, minute, 10 seconds is all. Okay, get that one going. I'm also doing some turkey sausage links in the background so you can hear a little bit of sizzling that's why I should probably turn them in a second but oh well here I'll rotate it so there you go uh, in the skillet I love the breakfast turkey sausage 
sausage patties, but they don't have them at the store anymore, or at least that I can't find them. If anybody can find them, let me know where you get them. Uh, it's like those Jenny O, whatever. Not really a big fan of the links, but hey, they're gonna work. They're gonna work today. These are the baby ones, the little small chef's tongs. Absolutely love them. They're great for nonstick. Um, you hold them down and pinch, they open. Hold them up and pinch, and they lock. Dishwasher safe. The larger ones are fine on the grill, as long as you're careful with them. All that good stuff. So there's that. All right. Um, I will be popping on later today with some um, other fun um, ideas of baking and cooking whatnot so watch for that all right so there's one minute ten seconds you can see it hopefully you can see that steaming Woo -hoo. I'll show you that kind of stuff let's get this one going okay oh I need a plate all right so watch how ridiculously easy this slips out literally just take your scraper and done hardly really anything to clean up again stoneware you don't want to ever put that in the dishwasher with soap but why would you even need to? Just literally rinse that, scrub it off real quick with your little scrub brush or the little square nylon pan scraper that comes with it and you are done. So again, maybe not looking as appealing as the other one will, which I'll show you, but again, tastes fine to me. Um, it's my breakfast with my turkey sausage. So, um, love that. Oh, forgot to let the dogs in. All right, hang tight, one sec, I'll be right back, sorry. It's like, you know, to the kids now I have dogs. All right, hey, look at that, that was good. 25 seconds left. Um, cheese, if you don't have the cheese grater yet, you definitely wanna consider getting that. Um, works great for shredding your uh, softer cheeses, mozzarella, cheddar, Monterey Jack, Colby Jack, any of those. Um, completely dishwasher safe. And you know, hopefully you all know my lecture, you have to cut through the plastic. Don't take that little Ziploc marketing mechanism and open that all up, that is totally a gimmick. They want you to do that so that your cheese starts to mold. So now, little thing. If you are doing more than one egg in here at a time, you can do poached as well. Again, poached you would do in either of these, you can do poached. Um, add about a half a cup of water. One, or two, one to two eggs is totally fine. Poke the yolk, put the cap on, or use a paper towel if you're using this version. And again, about the same amount of time, actually. So, all right. There is our egg. I just dump it down. You may just scoop it around there. There we go. Okay. Oh, voila. So you can definitely see fluffy, not fluffy. So really, there's only two differences that I can come up with. Again, they both taste the same. They're going to work for me for breakfast. So um, hopefully that helps you with deciding on this or that with the ceramic egg cooker or the stoneware egg cooker. All right, see you later.